All right, everybody. Welcome uh, back to class. Uh, this hour, we are going to be going over the uh, plurals as well as voiced and voiceless S sounds. Okay, as the class I did uh, earlier in the day, I wanted to uh, uh, repeat it again. I'm I'm doing it now and then a little bit later at night tonight. Uh, so in about uh, I think about six hours from now, I'm going to repeat that uh, just in case you could not make it for the earlier class or for for this class. Okay, um, now. Um, the reason why um, we're, we're going through this class uh, is for two reasons. Okay, number one, it was a class specifically um, asked for by one of uh, one of uh, my students. Okay, and uh, she had asked for help in uh, determining how we pronounce or uh, which endings or, or or how we change certain certain nouns to to plurals. Okay, uh, if there are any rules about it. Okay, and I said, "Why, well, yes, there are rules." All right, so we're going to be going over those rules as well as the pronunciations, okay, of the s sounds that are at the end. Okay, um, because uh, sometimes they're they're difficult. Sometimes we have a voiceless s sound, which is that s sound. Sometimes we have the voiced s, which is the z sound. Okay, when do we pronounce uh, uh, either one? Okay, well, we're going to uh, discuss that and practice that this hour. Okay, um, let's see who we have in class first. Oh, uh, Farhad, uh, back from the dead, okay, means uh, when someone is, uh, is uh, back from the dead, it's an expression that you use saying, hey, I haven't seen you for a long time. You're back from the dead. Okay, so I wasn't saying that Tarsicio was dead. I was just saying I have not seen him for for quite a while. Okay, so it's a, it's an expression. All right, very very good. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's see class. Let's see who we have uh, in class first. We have Bruno. How you doing, man? I'm fine, Chad. And you? Thanks. Oh, great. Yeah, I guess it's how was work fine. today? Thanks, and you? <laughs> uh, <it was> great. <laughs> A little bit of stressing. Good. Uh, it's just normal. Okay. Uh, any? Uh, do you, uh, are you feeling better today? Yeah. Right. No headache today. <laughs> Good. Good. Excellent. All right. Very cool. Well, welcome. Uh, welcome back to class. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, we also have uh, Talita. How are you, Talita? Hi. A long time that I I don't see you. <laughs> I know. What what happened to what happened to uh to Kitty Cat? Oh, they are they're dreaming. <laughs> sleeping. They're sleeping right now, okay. Yes. But awesome. she, she's over there. Can you see? Um yep, I can see. Hello Kitty. <laughs> awesome. All right, well welcome uh, welcome back to class. Good to have you here. Uh, we also have Isabel. How are you? Isabel, can you hear me okay? Make sure that your microphone is not muted. Uh, hi. There you are. Hi. Welcome. Hi, welcome, I'm fine uh, on welcome you. back to class. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Um, all right. We also have uh, Farhad. How are you? Hey, teacher. I'm doing good. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Welcome uh, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Okay, thank you. All right, and let's see. Tarsicio, how are you? Hey, can you hear me? Hey, what's up? Yep, I can okay. hear you. How you doing, man? Yep, I can hear you. I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. Are you? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Thank I you hope for you recognize well. me because I changed my picture. I did. <laughs> I only I only have one student named Tarsicio. So, um, yeah. you, and usually if you come into class uh, quite often, I'll I'll definitely remem remember. Awesome. Well, welcome welcome back to class. Good to see you, man. All right. We also have uh, Tablas. How are you? That's right. I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Awesome. Welcome. Uh, welcome back to class. 
Uh, let's see. We've also we've also got uh, uh, Yasin. How are you, Yasin? Yasin, can you hear me? Okay. All right. Make sure that your microphone is not muted. How about uh, Halwani? Yes, I can hear Hello you. Hello there, Hawani. Can you hey, hear? there you are. Yep, I got gotcha. you. Awesome. Welcome, uh, welcome back to class. Good to see you, Halwani. Yes, I'm here. Thank you, sir. Awesome. Very good. And let's see, uh, Yasin. Yes. Okay, there you are. How you doing? Fine, thanks. Excellent. Okay, welcome. I have All right, you guys. What's that? Uh, nothing, nothing. I have got midterm exam tomorrow. <laughs> oh, you've got a midterm exam tomorrow. Yes. And uh, do you do you feel uh, do you feel prepared? Yes, I think so. I did well. Awesome. Okay. Good. Good. All right. Well, welcome. Welcome back to class. Let's see. We also have. Now, is your name uh, Dalila? Uh, hello. My hello, name. how are you? We are best friends. And... <laughs> okay. And my, name, well, my name is Pilar, and I, I am 15 years old. <laughs> okay. I want... and... So your, your name is Pilar? And uh, and your friend is she uh, Delilah, or are you using someone else's account? Um, I am Dalila or Delilah. Okay, Delilah. Okay, and uh, and where where are you two from? We are from Argentina. Okay, from uh, from what part of Argentina? Cordoba. Cordoba. Okay, excellent, awesome. Well, welcome uh, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, um, if uh, if you do not know who I am, my name is Teacher Chad. Okay, you can call me uh, Teacher or Chad. I am from the United States, but I currently live in Costa Rica. Uh, this hour, we are going to be going over uh, plurals. Okay, uh, as well as the voiced and voiceless s sound. Okay, um, and uh, these rules that we learn about the voiced and voiceless S sound can be applied to uh, not only the S at the end of words, but also the S in the middle of words, things like that. Okay, all right. So let's uh, let's go ahead and check it out. Um, let's start off with the rules first. Hack, beat you. Hey, I was trying to chat, sorry. I was, uh, I was kind of busy talking to my girlfriend on Skype, so sorry. Oh, there you <laughs> Next go. time it will be here. no problem. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Okay, so uh, we're, uh, go ahead and open up that link, okay? I uh, put the link in the Verbling chat as well as in, uh, as in the Google chat, okay? All right, when, uh, when you open that up, this is what you're going to see. Okay, so we're going to go through uh, we're going to go through these uh, these different rules here. All right, and let's see. I believe I started over on the right hand. So we're over on the left hand this hour with Bruno. Uh, Bruno, let me have you read uh, everything that's in the uh, in this first box. Okay, so these are your standard nouns. Okay, uh, uh, ad adding an s basically. Okay, so go ahead and read first, through those. First box. Yep. Just that first box, please. Okay. Mm. Uh, the rules of regular and irregular plurals. For most nouns, just add s. Singular hand, plural hands. Rabbit, rabbits. Key, keys. Clock, clocks. Football, footballs. Dorm, doors. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Okay, and uh, class, uh, this is going to be the uh, simplest simplest form okay there isn't uh, much to know about this we just add an s and that becomes plural 
the only uh, um, the only trick to this is knowing if we pronounce that with a s sound or with a z sound. All right, and we'll go we'll get into that a little bit uh, uh, afterwards. Okay, uh, let's go to my next box, and this is for uh, Farhad. Farhad, let me have you uh, read everything here in the box, right to the right. Okay. So, shall I begin, teacher? Uh, yes, please. Okay. For nouns ending in S, X, Z, CH, or SH, and ES, a singular box, boxes, pitch, pitches, wish, wishes, boss, bosses, buzz, buzzes, glass, Glasses. Okay, excellent job. All right, let's go to um, um, our our next subject here. Okay, so um, just just as a as a note before before I move on. Okay, when we have an e s sound, okay, this uh, s here at the end, okay, will always make a z sound. That will always be voiced. Boxes, pitches. Wishes, okay. If you add an es to the end, that will definitely be an a uh, voiced s. Okay. All right. Let's go to um, our next box here, and this is for Halwani. Let me have you read yes, uh, this information, please. Okay. Uh, for some words ending in o, add es. Uh, potato, potatoes. Tomato, tomatoes. Hero, heroes. Echo, echoes. Bungle, bungles. Okay, that's going to be banjo and banjo. Sorry? Uh, that'll be banjo and banjos. Ah, ban banjo and banjos. Sorry. Okay, and what's the note down there below? The plural of many words and you can all can be spelled. Oh, man. Uh, S or E S. Okay. Uh, yeah, and that's uh, that's the uh, the truth. Okay. These here are are definitely spelled with an E S. Okay. Uh, but we have others like volcano. Okay. Volcano can be spelled with either an an S or an E S. Okay. All right. Uh, let's uh, let's talk about uh, some of those words where we just add an S. And this will be for Isabel. Uh, let me please have you uh, read uh, read everything in this uh, box. Okay. However, uh, for some words ending in O, just add S. Uh, singular, uh, cello, plural, cello. Uh, disco, discos. Herdo, herdo, herdos. Uh, logo, logos. Uh, patio, patios. Photo, photos. Piano, pianos, radio, radios. Okay, good. Now, um, one uh, one thing I want to point out, though, is that if uh, when we add that uh, s at the end, we don't want to put the emphasis on the end. Okay, so if this word here is cello, okay, and the accent That's is at the nice. very beginning, okay, this word here would actually be cellos. Okay, okay. we cello. wouldn't add the emphasis to the end of the word, saying cellos. Okay. Uh, same thing with radio. Okay. If our accent is radio at the very beginning of the word, okay, it would be radios. Okay, and uh, not adding an accent to the end. So, uh, adding that s does not change the pronunciation or the the accentuation of the word. Only that uh, uh, that we're changing it from being singular to plural. Okay. Uh, excellent job. Uh, let's go to our uh, our next category of information. This is for uh, Tabas. Let me have you yeah, read uh, everything in this box, please. Yes. For some words ending in F, change the F to V and added ES. Half, halves. Love, loves. Elf, elves. Left, lives. Self, selves. Chelf, chelves. Thief, Thieves, wolves, wolves. Good. Okay. 
So it's important to uh, to remember um, in this in this word that s that e s okay would not be pronounced okay. Now going back up to um, when we add an e s okay hallelujah we can pronounce this like an e s ending. Remember when we have e d endings we don't pronounce that that id every time only on on. On words that have two different endings, a T ending and a D ending. But when we add ES, okay, to these certain words here, okay, we can definitely pronounce an S sound, boxes, pitches. All right, watch out though. When we get to these other words, okay, when we add an ES, we do not pronounce that. Okay, potatoes, we go from that O sound to a Z sound. Potatoes, the same thing with these words here, okay, we add an ES, yes, okay, but we do not pronounce that S sound, okay. Um, we say halves, okay, instead of haves, halves, okay, and also a note uh, with these words that L is going to be silent, okay, so we have halves, loaves, elves, leaves, selves, shelves, thieves, and wolves. Okay, so that uh, that es at the end, we do not pronounce that in this instance. Okay, only, only when it ends with these uh, five endings: s, x, z, ch, or sh. Okay. All right, okay. class. Any questions up to this point? Any questions at all for me? No. Nope. No. Okay, very good. All right, let's uh, let's keep rolling. All right, so we're going to go to my next uh, my next reader. I think that was Salas, so we're on uh, Salas. How are you, Salas? Fine, thanks, and you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Let me have okay. you read this next box of information, please. Okay. However, for some words, heading in F just added S. Chef, shepherds, cliff, cliffers, rappers, rough, rappers. Okay, so let's uh, let's yeah. take a listen to the uh, pronunciation here. So we're just adding an s. All right. Yeah. Our root word is chef. Okay, that is one mm -hmm. chef. Okay, if we have two, there are chefs. So we go from that f sound to an s sound. Chefs. So let's try that. Salas, please repeat. Chefs. Chefs. Good. Okay. This next word is cliffs. 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 Yeah, cliffs. Okay, good. This word here is refs. Refs. And this word here is roofs. Roofs. Good. Excellent. Okay. Uh, now, uh, the plural of some nouns ending in F can be spelt using either, either variation. Okay. I'm not familiar of any that can uh, can either have a uh, an s at the end or switching that f to a v okay i don't know of any okay but uh um this says that there are but uh, i personally wouldn't worry about that okay uh learn the ones that have the where you're switching it to the v okay and learn those where you don't okay i wouldn't mess around with well i know in some instances where we can do ah, Okay, black and white. English is confusing enough uh, to then have words where you're where you're uh, saying, "Well, I know I can do this here whenever I want." Okay, well, just make a decision and go with it. For example, in our last class, we were talking about farther and further, and some professionals think that uh, that you can use farther and further interchangeably for distance. No, draw a line. Use a certain word to mean something else. Okay, farther distance. Okay, or physical distance. Anyway, so um, that's what we're saying. So learn, learn it one way or another. You may get, uh, it may get too confusing if you don't. Um, Bruno, refs. Refs is short for referee. Okay, thanks, Chad. Okay, so referee is someone who is uh, um, on uh, on the sidelines uh, or you know coaching a uh, not coaching but uh, watching a game. They're the they're the officials uh, that. Uh, we we call them refs, okay, or a ref. All right, um, very good. Okay, any any other questions? Uh, Cliff, 
Uh, Cliff is, uh, let's say, um, have you, Talita, have you heard of the Grand? Okay, so uh, Bruno put a uh, put it in uh, Portuguese there for you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. If only I knew Portuguese. Look at me, I'm Bruno. <laughs> I know Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. Very cool. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. Let's go to uh, my uh, my next reader. Um, let's go to Talita. Hi. Hi. Let's uh, let me have you read this uh, small box of information here. Okay, including uh, words ending in "if." Okay, go for it. Okay. Uh, for some nouns ending in "if." change the F to a V and then add F. Uh, wife, wives, life, lives, knife, knifes. Okay, and here remember we don't want to pronounce that as sound. Okay, um, so instead of saying wives, we say wives. Wives. Okay. Good. Can I try Why? again? Sure, go for it. Do it. Wives, lives, mm -hmm. knives. Good, perfect. That's okay. it. Awesome. Okay, Tarcicio, let me have you read this next box here. Go ahead and read those, please. Okay. For common nouns that end with consonant more Y, change the Y to an I, and then add ES. Poppy, poppies, fly, flies, penny, pennies, spy, spies, nappy, nappies, <laughs> sty, styes. Okay, good. The important thing to remember here, class, is if the root word is pronounced with a long I. Okay, for example, fly, that Y is pronounced with a long I. We do not change it to fleas. Okay, spy does not become spies. Okay, it is spies. We hold that same I sound. Okay, but poppy, okay, because it has that E sound, the long E sound, this would be poppies. Okay, so do not change that ending there. Okay, so yes, poppy, poppies, okay, fly, flies. We want to keep that, that, uh, that ending. Okay, uh, to the word. Okay, um, excellent. Let's uh, let's scroll down and take a look at our next box of information. Let's go to Yasin. Yes, who has a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah I have a question. That uh, sure. what does puppies puppies? What's the meaning of puppies? Okay, um, there is a, it's a it's a food. Okay, um, uh, there's a like a type of bread that's called poppy seed bread. Okay, and it's a uh, little little black kind of seeds. Okay, that they uh, they uh, include on uh, on some certain type of breads. All right, so uh, yeah, that's that's really what it is, and it has sort of like a bitter taste. I don't really like poppy seed bread, but yeah, that's what a poppy is. Okay, uh, you may also hear um, someone call their father. Okay, pop. Okay, or pops. What's up, pops? Yeah. Okay, um, or um, uh, they may say Poppy. Okay, call their dad Poppy. Yeah. All right, uh, but that that is yeah. that's different. Okay, that's a uh, um, that that uh, comes from Pappy. Okay, things like that. So Pappy pops pa Poppy things like that. Yeah. Okay, so that is just a little different. Uh, All right. Okay, let's yeah. go to uh, Yasin. Yes, I am reading. Okay, go ahead and read that next uh, next box of information, please. Some nouns are the same in both singular and plural, plural form. Uh, singular, fish, fish, sheep, sheep, deer, deer, tuna, tuna, salmon, salmon, trout, trout. Good. Now this this word here, uh, we don't pronounce that uh, that L. The word is salmon. Salmon. Good, excellent. Okay, another another one uh, that, uh, that isn't on this list is uh, moose. Okay, moose, moose. 
Okay, things like that. Now, um, the, these lists that we have here, this is not the end all be all. This is not every word that fits into those categories. They're just some of them. Okay, yes. and you'll, you'll, it's just to give an example. So it's not the whole complete list. Okay, all right, uh, let's people. go to, what's that? People, people. It oh. was an example. Sure, sure. Yes, exactly. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's keep uh, let's keep going uh, down. So, Bruno, let me have you read this next uh, the last box of information here. Okay, uh, this one over here on the right. Go ahead and read that, Bruno. In Portuguese. In Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, looks like he may have been frozen. Yep, he was. Okay, Farhad, oh. let me have you uh, read this last box of information here. So, uh, for some nouns, change other letters or just change the word completely. Yep. Uh, think, uh, okay, person, people, child, children, ox, Oxen, foot, feet, tooth, teeth, goose, geese, mouse, mice, loose, lice, man, men. Okay, excellent job. Okay, so uh, one one important thing to remember here, everybody. All right. So we change the whole word. Uh, a common mistake between uh, beginning uh, beginning learners of English, okay, is to say persons instead of people. Okay, uh, uh, plural would be people instead of persons. Okay, another common mistake is to add an s at the end of children and say childrens. Okay, when you're talking about okay. more than one more than one uh, child. Okay, you can say uh, this is these are my children's toys. Okay, but that would be apostrophe s, meaning that the toys belong to the children. All right, but uh, but here, remember, an s does not belong at the end of children. Okay, if you are talking about more than one child. Okay, so child goes to children. All right. Um, uh, other than that, let's see. Yeah, everything else. Uh, Looks pretty squared away. Okay, so class, any questions for me about uh, any anything that we've read through so far? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah, for the uh, two last box. Okay, the last uh, yeah. two last boxes. Two last, yes, yes. Anyway, to learn this word, what we must know all this, uh, this word. We this is a. Before the last one, we didn't uh, need to put any things. Yes um, or yes. These these just need to be memorized. Okay, there's no there's no other quick way around it. They just need to be memorized. Okay, and and you'll come across yeah. other words as uh, as you go along. Okay, it's the same with uh, with any language. Okay, it's the same way that that uh, that I. Uh, that I did, that I had to learn, okay? Uh, because you would, as a child, you would say, um, "Look at the mouses, mommy," and she would say, "No, it's not mouses. We say mice." And uh -huh. then you'd fall again, and you say, "Hey, mommy, look at the mouses." <laughs> She's like, "No, I already yeah. told you. We say mice, <laughs> okay?" And so it's it's uh, it, it's things that uh, that we go along learning, okay? Yes, we so, must remember. Yeah, yeah. So, and and this is this is a a good list. These words that are here, especially down at the bottom. Okay, um, these are these are very common. Okay, fish, sheep, deer, tuna, salmon. Okay, those are those are common words that would that would be used. Okay, another one. Uh, you don't use moose all that often. Moose aren't everywhere. Okay, mainly in Alaska. Okay, um, but uh, in, in in some places in uh, uh, um, I believe maybe in, in in Russia or some of the other um, kind of colder mountainous areas. Okay, that's where that's where uh, moose live. All right, uh, but not they're not in Arizona. <laughs> I can tell you that I've never seen a moose before. Uh, but uh, 
Um, okay, so yeah, the, the, they, they just need to be learned. So you can definitely start by learning these two lists, okay, and going from there. This is a great base to have, okay, especially person, child, okay, foot, tooth, mouse, and man, okay. Uh, also women. I don't know why they didn't include woman, women yes. on here. So women and, and, and women, okay. Uh, it's, a, it's a great uh, uh, a great base to start from. Okay. Uh, any other questions, Thank class? Yeah, I uh, teach the first uh, uh, table. Uh, okay, the first table. Yeah. All right, right here. Uh, the first table, table first teacher. Yes, I'm I'm on the first table. Okay. No, I I think not first past he said past maybe last you mean last one you mean the no, last no, one just like, yeah, no no hands hands uh, just like uh, adding s so how can I pronounce these f i n okay with the with the uh, voiced s or the uh, uh, we're gonna yeah, go over yeah. that next we're gonna go over that next. Okay. okay, so it, it deals with the ending, the last, uh, the last letter, okay, or the last sound that is right before that S. Okay, so yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll go over that in just one second. Okay, uh, any uh, any other questions? Uh, what yes, I have a question. Okay, go ahead. Uh, who, all right, let's see. Tarcicio, go ahead with your question. Okay. For example, when you pronounce a word and you can feel the vowel vibrating in your throat, does it mean the S will always sound like Z? Because teacher Oakley told me this. Like arm, um, arms. Arms? Arms? Or, um, arms is with Z or S? It's with a Z. Yeah, arms. Yeah. Okay, and we'll go we'll go over those rules in in just a bit. Uh, yes, um, uh, uh, Blakely is is correct. Okay, um, but it's to the extent that you that you pronounce that that Z. Okay, you can really get into it and say arms and really you know pronounce it, but most people don't talk that way. The way that I speak, I speak really quickly, and I, I kind of. Uh, um, you know, uh, mumble or, or slur through my words. When I'm with you guys, I really, I really enunciate very clearly. Okay, um, but uh, but I have a different way of speaking, um, especially when I get around musicians. If I'm around musicians and I'm in a I'm in a club or I'm at a uh, um, uh, some some other type of venue like that, it's it's a whole a whole other type of language because I'm talking. You know, it, it's yeah, it's another type of lingo. Okay, um, and we really we really slow our words a lot and things like that. But uh, yeah, when mm -hmm. I say arms, arms is really is really it, it, I I I pronounce that that s or that voiced s very quickly. Arms. Okay, mm -hmm. so even though it may sound like it's a s sound, it's not. It's a z. Arms. Yeah. Okay. So, but okay. but we'll we'll work on that just a little bit. So some people really enunciate that z sound. Okay. Others do not. Okay. All right. Now, uh, Talita, your your question here. Okay. Man, man would be with an A N. Okay. That's what I call the American whiny A. Ma, man. 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 Okay. And then men. Eh. Meh. Men would be with a short E sound. Meh. Men. Man. Men. Man. Man and men. Man and men. Oh my God, so difficult, man. man. So man, man, yeah. So what's happening is your tongue in the back of your mouth. When you pronounce that that a, your tongue in the back of your mouth is kind of closing the air, okay. And uh, and you can if you can control your tongue or kind of see or feel what it's doing. That's what we say. We say ma, okay. And you can see it kind of uh, curve towards the back. Man, man, man. man. Okay. When I say meh. Me. Okay. There's a. It curves down, and I say meh, meh, me. men, me. men, men, man, and men, man, and men. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Thanks. That's it. Let's get into the uh, voiced S and then uh, uh, see if we can make it into some. <laughs> I know, right, right there. Uh, you were just waiting. You're like, he's gonna say, yeah, it. Right. I know it. Beep. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so uh, go ahead and open uh, open up this next link. Okay, and this was a question that someone asked, and uh, and the responser, the responser, <laughs> the response. answer and response combined. <laughs> combined the response. Oh goodness. Okay, um, the response. Okay, so uh, we're going to ignore we're going to ignore this part here. Okay, we're ignoring that. We're going right to where it's underneath cool breeze. All right, that's what we want to read. Um, my last reader was Bruno. Let's go to uh, Farhad. I didn't read actually. Oh, you didn't read? Yeah, I got connected. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Okay, uh, Bruno, let me have you. Let me have you read right here, please. Mm, sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool breeze. There are some rules. These apply to the final plural S and the third person singular S in verbs. The S is voiced after a voiced sound. All vowels are voiced and also B, D, L, M, N, and V. He dreams about it every day. His dreams are incredible. He calls me every day. Uh, he likes rosebuds. I have two watches. He knocks on my door daily. I hate cats. Okay. All right. So I say dreams and knocks. Okay. When I pronounce that S, I, I really enunciate the S more. Okay. Dreams is more of a closed off Z. I don't vibrate it as much. Okay, some people do, others don't. Okay, down here, okay, it's a it's a very uh, interesting paragraph, which is absolutely true. In many cases, native speakers, uh, uh, native speakers' speech, these voiced s's are not very clearly voiced at all. There are regional and dialectal differences. Okay, common words that are supposed to have voiced s's are is, was, as, has but not all natives pronounce them that way. Okay. Um, now, if an S occurs after the first syllable and the stress falls on it, the S is often voiced. Position, okay, acquisition. All right, now, and I, I, I pronounce those, those uh, S's, those uh, voiced S's, the Z S's in the middle of words more than I do the ones that are at the end of words. Okay, uh, important top important things that I want to note. Okay, the S's are voiced after all vowels. Okay, what are our vowels? Like A E I A O U E I O U. U. Those are our vowels. Okay, A E I O U. Okay, why is we consider that uh, uh, the vowel esque? Okay, but when we add, when we make a a, uh, um, a word with a y at the end, plural, we change that to an i and then add es. Okay, so it's uh, so it, when we're talking about um, uh, plural sounds, okay, with that s at the end of a word, okay, don't worry about why because it's going to be changed to an i. Okay, a e i o u. That's always going to be a z sound. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, the other part. Okay, after B, D, L, M, N, and V. Okay, in most cases when we have a V, there is going to be an E after that. Okay, and, uh, and so we would, we would uh, definitely pronounce that like a, a Z sound. Okay, I did find a word though today, okay, and when I was reading that broke the rules. Okay, overdose. Okay, overdoses. Z well, we kind of do over. Oh no, it was overdosed. No, it does still follow the rules. Ah, I'm uh, overdose. Overdoses. Overdoses. Yeah, he overdosed. He over overdoses. 
yeah, that's still a voiced S at the very end with an ES. <laughs> Never mind. I'm a liar. I was I was reading through that and I was like, wait a minute, that breaks the rules. And the word. I think I was, uh, what's what's Sorry. the word? Go for it. And the word isolated. It it's isolated or isolated. Iso isolated. Isolated. Yeah. yeah so that, that that should be a uh, Z sound, but it's not. Okay, isolated because that stress falls on it, as well as it's after the first uh, uh, first uh, vowel. Okay, or the mm -hmm. first consonant. Yeah. So that okay. if based on on the rules, it should be a Z sound, but it definitely is not. It is ISO, isolated. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. Okay. Um, any, any questions about the voiced and unvoiced uh, S sounds? Okay. Now, to explain a little bit about what your tongue does, okay, we're going to practice the, uh, the word is, okay, uh, really quick before we get into our practices, okay? So your tongue, when you pronounce that Z sound, Okay, um, and we say is, okay, you're not necessarily always going to open your mouth wide like this to say zoo or z, anything like that. You don't, okay? Um, for example, the word is, all right, but there's a little vibration there. Okay, so your tongue, it's going to be curved down like this. Um, there's going to be a, sort of a restriction at the top, okay, and it curves and it does not touch your teeth. Your, your bottom <laughs> teeth are right here. It does not touch your teeth. And it vibrates like so. It'll be very close to your teeth, but does not touch it. Your tongue will touch your teeth on the sides. Okay? And it's sort of kind of clamped in between. All right? That's how we pronounce that Z sound. Z. But remember, you are not touching the, the backside of the front of your teeth. Okay? We're not touching the teeth with the tip of the tongue. Okay? All right. So let's, let's go through. We're going to practice the word is is okay so let's start off with uh, with Bruno okay I want you to say the word is twice is is try that is is okay give me a vibration is 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 <laughs> it's there you go <laughs> is okay is. let's let's flip it we're gonna say z z sorry um, what Okay, flip it. Okay, so instead of saying is, say Z. Okay, Z. Good. Okay, you can say that. Now we're going to say easy. Easy. There you go. Now we're just going to say ease. Ease. All right. Oh, we lost it. Easy. <laughs> easy. Okay, now we're going to say ease. Ease. Ah, okay. Almost. That's a, that's a tricky one. Okay. All right. All right. We'll keep working on it. All right. That's our yeah. that's our next uh, next sound to work on, as well as that th. Okay. Uh, let's okay. go to uh, Yasin. Give me the word is twice. Is is. Is is. There you go. Good job. Tarcisio. Is is. Is is. There you go. Okay. Tablas. Is is. Is is. Okay, one more time. Is, is. Is, is. Okay, good. How about uh, Juan? Hey, Juan, how you doing? Hey. I just saw you. <laughs> I'm doing good, good man. Normally, teacher, all the entire class. Is good. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, just kidding, teacher. All right, so let's, uh, let's try this word. The word is is, is. Is, is. Good, that's great. Okay, Isabel, is, is. Is, is. There you go. Okay. Uh, Halwani, is, is. Is, is. There you go. Great. Okay. Farhad, is, is. Is, is. There you go. Okay. One more time. Is, is, is. is. There you go. Is, awesome. Is. Okay, good, good. Okay, you guys. Um, uh, the link, uh, uh, Bruno put the link uh, that we're going to be working on in uh, in the box. Go ahead and open that up. And let's see. Okay. Um, we're going to start off. Okay, we're going to start off with uh, with Bruno. Okay. Okay, and uh, let me have you take a look at the first 
the first three words. Okay, now class, if the word is already in plural, okay, tell me what the singular form would be. Okay, if it's in singular, tell me what the plural form would be. And I'd like for you to read the word both ways. So if we have the word um, uh, noun, okay, so if noun is uh, number one, I would say noun and nouns. Okay, and I want you to pronounce both the singular and the plural form. So read the word and then tell me the opposite uh, opposite form. Okay, numbers one, two, and three, please, Bruno. Okay, and the first one, I'm not sure, but okay, offspring. And, and I guess it's uh, singular, but I don't know the plural, and I would guess offsprings. Okay, so offspring and offspring, okay, uh, is, is going to be both a singular and plural. Okay. okay, so it's kind of like sheep. Okay. Okay, so uh, offspring, offspring. Okay. Offspring, offspring. Okay. And and what this means is the uh, is the um, the animals that were born from or even even humans. So it's it's kind of rude to call your children your offspring, but you can. Okay, but uh, animals have offspring. Okay, th okay. those are their their babies. Okay. All right, go ahead. Number two, please. Uh, club and clubs. Okay, give me an, a, a Z sound there. Clubs. Oh, okay, club, clubs. Okay. I have to practice my Z sound. All right, yeah. Okay, how about number three? Uh, window and windows. Okay, that's going to be a Z sound as well. Windows. Okay. Uh, window, windows. Okay. I, I can't chat. I will practice it. Okay. All right, all right. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't give up hope. All right, numbers... <laughs> Four and five, four, five, and six, please. This goes to Yasin. Uh, uh, will, I, will I read from number four to six, right? Uh, yes, please. Stepless, step. Uh, I think the singular form is step. Okay, it would be a uh, uh, staple. Staples. Okay, so staples with a Z. That's going. That's with the S. That is the plural form. Staple without the S is the singular form. Okay. Uh, whiteboard is a plural form. Uh -huh. Whiteboard singular form. Good. All right. How about number six? Logo. Logos uh, plural form. And logo. <laughs> Logo singular form. Excellent, thank you. Okay, let's go to uh, Tarcisio. Um, let me have you do numbers seven, eight, and nine, please. Okay. Sky and skies. Match and matches. Bush and bushes. Okay, that's going to be bu bush and bushes. Bush. Bushes. Good, excellent. Okay. Um, how about uh, numbers 10, 11, and 12? Uh, this is for Tablas. Yes. Calves, calves, dwarf, dwarfs, mm -hmm. heroes. Uh, can you help me? Number 12. Okay, um, yes, uh, number 12 is going to be theories and theory. Theories? And theory. theory. I, yeah, I wrote that in the chat box. It's theory with a, with a Y. So theories and theory. Okay, now, I do want to uh, review the word uh, cabs and calf. Okay, that will have an F at the end, and the L is going to be silent. Okay, we say calves and calf. Try that one more time. Calves it would be calf. Yeah, calf. Good, nice. Yeah. All right, let's go to Juan. Uh, Juan, numbers uh, 13, 14, and 15, please. Bottom. Volcano. Try. Okay, so uh, we need to uh, switch these to uh, either their plural or their singular form. All of these here are in singular form. So button, what would we change button to? Buttons. Good. All right. 14. 
Mm. I don't have a clue, teacher. Volcanoes. Okay. Yeah, volcanoes. All right, Volcano. so. Yeah, so we add volcanoes. Okay, it's uh, it's with an e s at the end. Okay, but if you have an o at the end, and even if you add an s or an e s, it does not matter uh, because that e is not going to make a sound. We're focusing on that o, and the word is volcanoes. Volcanoes. Okay, good. How about uh, number fifteen? Hmm. It should be. Tries. Good. Tries. Yes. Tries. Tries. tries and tries. So it's try and tries. Tries. Yes. Good. Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, Isabel. Uh, let okay. me have you do uh, okay. numbers 16, 17, and 18, please. Uh, words on words. Uh, women and men. Um, Barak and barracks. Good. Barrack and barracks. Okay. Now, I do want to talk about the word women. Okay. So, women. Okay. This is, this is plural. Okay. But we pronounce it, we pronounce it like this. Okay. Women. Women. Oh, sorry. That, uh, that I-N is going to be more of an E-N there. Okay. So, women. Women. Okay, so women. that O, that O is not pronounced with an O sound. It's women. Okay, now singular is w, woman. Woman. Yeah, so that uh, that O and that A both sound like an U uh sound. Woman, woman. Woman. Okay, so yes, that's a crazy word, but that's how we pronounce those: women and woman. All right. Okay. Good. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Let's go to Halwani. Halwani, let me have you read numbers 19, 20, and 21, please. Okay. 19. Mm. Memo. Good. That is a memo. Mm -hmm. Memo. Memos. Good. Memo and memos. Excellent. Uh, mosquito. Mosquitoes. Good. Mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. Face. Faces. Excellent. Face and faces. Wonderful. All right. How about numbers uh, 22, 23, and 24, please? Farhat? Uh, 23, 23. Teeth, tooth. A teeth is a singular, and tooth. And a tooth is a singular, and teeth is a plural. Good. Yes, that's that's correct. Uh, tooth is singular. Teeth is plural. Okay. Uh, how about yeah. number twenty-four, please? Uh, twenty. I don't. I can't see the text. Okay. Trench is, uh, is a plural and trench uh, is a singular. Okay, all right, very good. Now, uh, series, whoops, uh, series is, uh, is just going to be series. Okay, series is another one like offspring. Okay, where, uh, where it, it is both singular and Plural. So uh, I'm watching a TV series right now called The Following. Okay. Um, and uh, Bruno, how many t different TV series are you watching? We wouldn't say TV series. All right. We wouldn't say that. We would say TV series. Okay. That would be uh, that would be more than one. Okay. So series itself is uh, is going to be another one like Offspring, like we read at the very beginning. Okay, let's go to um, uh, Bruno. Okay. Um, and let me have you do numbers 25, 26, and 27, please. Okay. Star, stars. Good. Knife, knives. Mm -hmm. uh, moto, motos. All right, that would be motto. Motto and mottos. Motto, mottos. Good, good. All right, how about uh, 28, 29, and 30? Uh, this is for uh, Yasin. 
ya just just wait uh, yeah uh, leaf is the singular form and leaves is the plural form uh -huh. uh, hand handkerchief is the singular form and hand handkerchiefs is the plural, plural form good bus bus is singular form buses is plural form excellent bus and buses okay good all right how about numbers 31 32 and 33 this is for um tarcisio okay gallery and galleries trio and trios moose and i don't know that one moose and moose moose and moose yeah, so uh, I have one moose, okay, in my yard right now. I have uh, 15 moose in my yard right now, okay? Mm -hmm. Moose and moose, all right? It's not like mouse, okay? Mouse is mm -hmm. only one letter off, and mouse goes to mice. But moose stays on moose, okay? Okay. All right, good. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's go to um, 34, 34, 35. And 36, please. Um, and this is for Tablas. Yes. Lazos, Lasses, Sertex, Sertex, Elephants, Elephant. Okay, and now 35 is Critic. Critic and Critics. Oh, sorry, Critic. Critic. Okay, yeah, so critic and critics, okay? And that that other word would be lasso. Lasso, lasso and lassos. Lassos. lasso, lassos. Okay, good. All right, let's go to our last two and this is these are four um for uh, Juan. Let me have you read 37 and 38, please. Mm, 37 it says Dinners, diner. Okay, it would be dinners and dinner. Dinner, okay, sorry. Okay. The other one, infernos, inferno. Good, inferno and infernos. What is that Excellent. Um, inferno would be, uh, uh, would be like uh, hell. Okay, um, some people uh, describe that as being hell, so you're going to go to uh, okay. Inferno. Um, but an Inferno is also a very big, very hot fire. Okay, okay. Um, it could, uh, could also be referred to as a stove, a very large stove. Okay, that would be an Inferno. Okay, but what about the, the pronunciation for diner? Because uh, the expression dining room, it's... The letter I sound like like that dining room, and on dinner it sounds like E. Why why is the difference? Okay, so um, take a take a look in the chat box here. I wrote in diner, which has one n. Mm -hmm. Dining dining like dining room that has two n's, and that okay. I is a long I. But when we have dinner with two n's with an e r at the end, that is di dinner with a short i ending. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, sure, no problem. All right, and uh, let's see, Bruno. Uh, stars, stars, it, stars. It has a, it has a Z, stars. Yeah, Z ending, stars, stars. And uh, let's see, uh, you want to know about club and clubs. Clubs and yeah, clubs. Club and clubs, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Thank you guys so, mer so very much for coming to class. Uh, I'm going to take uh, about a four-hour break and then be back at it uh, again tonight. Um, uh, thank, you for, thank you for coming. Uh, I hope this helped to uh, alleviate any of the confusion uh, between the different uh, pronunciations of the S, okay, the S sounds, and then also uh, how, we, uh, how we pluralize uh, certain words, okay? You guys did great. Thank you. Uh, thank you for coming to class. Thanks, Chad. See you later. All right. Bye.